Uh, hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money, but even to me it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sport Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as Hang if Hang on, they... two seconds, Nat. OK, Devon, Aidan's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aidan pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. your overtake button more, it's time to utilise some of this energy. Come on. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.5 seconds. Fastest lap is at 121.9. Sorry, we can't provide you with that information right now. And 
That's just five laps of fuel remaining. the top 10 now, keep it up. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 3.5 seconds.
Okay, final lap. Let's go. Final lap. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. So Nax, who else out there deserves a mention today? Well, I feel like there are a couple, but let's start with Aidan Jackson. Couldn't agree more. Jackson had a brilliant race, didn't he? Yeah, we know Connor Sport have struggled all season. Jackson's done really well today, and that's in spite of the problems with his own teammates. Even before they became teammates, these two had their fair share of run-ins. It's a fascinating rivalry. You can't take your eyes off it for one moment. But nonetheless, some much-needed points today for Connor Sport. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Well, a good race out there again today, Aidan. But what we do all want to know, what exactly happened with Devon? It sounded like he completely ignored a direct team order. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect? It's Devon. He was out of order out there. Uh, he really needs to rein it in. He's not the only one driving. I'm sure the team will have a lot to say about it. Well, he did certainly seem to cause you some trouble out there today. And after that, and what happened in Canada, what would you say to those wondering if the old Jackson-Butler rivalry is well and truly back? I think the bigger problem is that Devon will never change. Devon only cares about Devon, and uh, I'm not going to bend to that. So call it what you want. So issues with Devon aside, how do you feel it went out there today? Do you think the team will be... Could I have pushed it harder? Probably. It was a good enough result, but... You know, with the past issues of the car, I feel maybe we held back a little bit. I'll definitely be putting in the work for the next race weekend, for sure. So, you mentioned the car there. In that regard, Connor Sport's not had the easiest of times so far this season. At the end of the day, there's, there's always going to be common problems for a new team like us. But, you know, everyone at the factory, everyone's working really, really hard, and I'm super proud of them. You know, each race is going to take us a step further to where we need to be. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, I'll leave that in your capable hands. Devon, you had a problem with a team order today? Didn't happen. What? Look, I know everyone's saying I ignored it, but it didn't happen. I never got the order. Check the comms. Shoddy workman always blames his tools, eh? Check the comms. Okay, we check the communication pipeline. Fix it.
This cannot happen again. Typical. Aiden, listen. What's the point? It's just Devon being Devon. And what? That makes it okay? He's an arrogant... No, you're right to call him out. But imagine if we didn't give him certain freedoms. He'd be even harder to manage. As his father, I know. Aiden, you're the best driver that we have. And it's right for you to put Devon in his place. He needs it. The team needs it. Thanks. Between you and me, I don't think this team is right for me. I think... Honestly, we don't deserve you. And I know that you've been discussed at other teams, so just keep doing what you're doing. Sure. I'm sorry if I've spoken out of turn. About Devon? <laughs> Not at all. You know the best way to keep Devon in his place? What's that? Beat it. Could you take a look at this, please? Davidoff. So, uh, I had a word with Aiden. And? Nothing to worry about. Don't think there'll be any more problems. What did you say? Doesn't matter. We level with each other. Just leave Aiden to me from now on. And, uh, what about Devon? What about Devon? We both know it wasn't the comms, right? Andrea, listen. Devon may push his luck from time to time, but I won't have his integrity questioned. If he says it was the comms, then you know what to do. Yes? Right. <clears throat> sure. I'll have them checked again. See that you do. Hey, we need your input on this one. So, what about Callie Mayer? Was she on your radar at this point? Of course. She was making big waves in F2, and Ackerman would not shut up about her. Here's our race leader, Callie Mayer. She has been blisteringly fast around Zandvoort here today. Look at that! She's going into pit! Interesting strategy they've decided on there. She has been lapping at rapid pace, but is this the right call? Yeah, it's a bold move, for sure. Looks crazy to me, but let's find out. Here she goes then, on brand new tyres. The rest of the field still sticking with their original set. Where exactly does Callie Mayer come out? Let's see. Okay, Kelly, let's go. We're going to leave it to you. You know what to do. Come on. Copy that. I'm on it.
Okay, gap to the car behind. Car behind. 2.1 seconds. Brilliant, nice move, keep going.
catching the car ahead by a couple of seconds a lap now, really good. Caution, caution. Maneuver, you made it look so easy. Push, push. Take a bow, what a masterclass to finish first here in the Netherlands. It was such an unlikely strategy from Maya, but she and the team have made a success of it. What a race, what a performance, what a genuine joy to watch. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy 
congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. Kelly, what do you put your success down to this season? Oh, I'd say probably my speed. In what way? I find lapping faster than everyone else really, really helps. Casper, <laughs> Casper. No, no, no. Seriously, though, I have a great team around me, and this guy, more than anyone else, has been pretty useful to have around. <laughs> Casper, what are you shy? Come up here. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. And Callie says you've been a factor this season, Casper. I'm not the one driving. Didn't agree with my tyre strategy, though. <laughs> this one has no respect for her elders. <laughs> but can you give us more detail as to the exact role that you're playing, Casper? None whatsoever. It's all about her. He's probably right, to be fair. So, were you already in touch with Casper Ackerman at that point? <laughs> Ackerman and I go way back. Let me guess, you saw the race, couldn't be prouder, and everyone in the office wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> well, that saved me a few minutes. Guess I'll speak to you later then. <laughs> How are you, Mum? Oh, I couldn't be prouder, Cal. That was one hell of a race. Everyone in the office wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Honestly? The way you're driving, I think we're going to have to change your name. What's he this time? Callie Winner. You've got this in the bag, Cal. Oh, okay. That, that is the kind of award-winning journalism that we really do need right now, but one race at a time, okay? <laughs> that sounds like Casper talking. Is he looking after you? Yeah, yeah, always. Uh, actually, I've got a meeting with him that I'm running a bit late for, so I've got a dash, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, sweetheart. Call me tonight and well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 